my name is John Ocampo and uh, today uh, we'll quickly go over uh, a handy feature in Business Central uh, which is uh, the user task feature and so you can use this feature to set um, reminders for yourself but you can also assign tasks to other users who are assigned licenses on Business Central. So there are two ways to get to the screen. Uh, in the role center, if you are in the business manager or accountant role, um, your homepage should have the My User Tasks screen at the front here. If you're using another role, you can go ahead and just search User Tasks. So this is the user task screen. Um, currently, this is the sandbox environment and we don't have any tasks. So I can go ahead and make a new one here. We can start by naming the subject for the task. So I'll go ahead and just put follow up with vendor. And then we can add a description to this task. Please follow up with vendor number. So in this description, you'll want to be uh, a little more specific and uh, I'll show you why later. Um, in the status, we can assign the user to assign this task to. Um, I'll go ahead and just assign this to my user. Uh, if we wanted to, we could also assign the task to a user group and how we do that would be to, so the, um, the task actually automatically saves so we can exit out of there. So we can make a user task group here under the user task groups and we'll assign a code. And if we go ahead and edit it, we can add uh, users to this group. Go ahead and add myself here. And so now, once we go back to our task, we can assign this instead of just one person. So instead of assigning it to just one person, now we can assign it to that one group we created. For the purpose of this demo, I'll go ahead and just assign it to myself. Uh, along with that, we can go ahead and set the due date for our task. Um, we have a field for the percentage of completion. It defaults to zero. Um, we can change that if we want to. We can um, set the start date as today's date, and we can also assign it a priority. And now under task item, this actually lets us link the task to a specific page or report in Business Central. So we want to see the vendor list um, for this specific uh, task. So I'll go ahead and click page and we'll go ahead and look for the vendor list page here. So we'll select the vendor list and that will assign it to that page. Um, you don't have to do anything. Once you exit out, it'll go ahead and save. So now we have this task saved. So now you can go to the user tasks from the home screen. And once you enter this page, um, the tasks here will be filtered to your user. So we can go ahead and see the tasks here. And if we uh, have it completed, we can go ahead and mark it complete. And it'll 
disappear from your pending tasks. If we wanted to create another task, um, we could see the all the tasks in, in this page, but now we'll notice that um, the percentage of completion is now 100 in this page. Let's go and make another one. Let's do AR review. Let's say please review AR report with manager. So another thing we can do with these tasks is make them recurring. So we can click recurring here. We can click the recurring start date. In this case, we'll do it at the end of the month. And we can choose the interval of recurrence. If I put 1M here, it'll tell the system to repeat this task um, uh, once a month starting from this date. And we can set it to recur six times. Assign this to me as well. Start date. Um, and we'll give this a normal priority. And now we can link this task to a report instead of a page. So let's go ahead and find that report. And we'll choose the aged accounts receivable. And it should save there automatically. So now if we go back to the home page, we can see that this AR review will be here. And if we go ahead and, and click further into it and click go to task item, it'll go um, straight to the page that was linked. And in this case, I have linked it to the accounts uh, receivable aging report. And so we can run that report directly from this page. So this is a useful tool to um, use for yourself, to set reminders for yourself, but you could also use it to assign users and um, manage your workflow much easier.